Pisces. Today we are doing your zodiac predictions for the month of December. So Gemini did win last month. Their video got the most amount of likes, so their video went up first. If you want the video for Pisces to go up first next month, you need to hit that like button because the zodiac sign with the most amount of likes will be the one whose, whose tarot card reading goes up first. So let's get started on your reading. What do we have to tell Pisces today? What do they need to know about the upcoming month? What kind of messages do we have? Okay, that was me. That was me dropping them. <laughs> Two when they come out. So we have the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. You guys are worried about something. Four of Wands and the Page of Swords. Okay, let's start there. So, first of all, with the Nine of Wands, this is... This is so it this is about being persistent and resilient. It's it's something testing your faith and you knowing that you need to keep going. This is let me move my camera. There we go. This is you trying your hardest to keep going. But if you look at the expression on this gentleman's face, he's nervous. He is not quite sure. Um, he is on edge. He's a little defensive about the situation. And then this Eight of Cups here, this is, this is disappointment. This is you running away from something. I'm not quite sure what it is you're running away from, but you've turned your back on these opportunities. This might be you feeling like you're not good enough for whatever it is. It's you feeling like you just, you're just juggling and never actually getting anywhere. And like, you almost feel like you kind of want to give up. You know, it's just, it's the end of the year, just give up, start fresh next year. But I, I want to tell you that it's not time to give up. It is not. There is positivity on the horizon. There is celebration. There is union. Um, this is harmony, and this is on the horizon. But right now, you're feeling so um, so uncertain. This page of swords is about new beginnings. It's moving forward. It's finding a new passion. With it being swords, it's very much an intellectual based card. So um, I'm almost feeling like you need to to kind of go back to square one and do a little bit of research. Find out something that will help you on this journey, whatever this path is. Um, yeah, you're feeling stuck and you need to go back to the beginning and really kind of reanalyze, put put a plan in place. Um, if we're talking about a relationship here and we're not sure where this relationship is going, what direction it's heading in, and that is causing you a little bit of discomfort, you're feeling like you're having to 
juggle your emotions with your partner's emotions and it's just um, like bickering between you two. You need to go back to the beginning and work on the foundations of this relationship for it is it is on strong foundations that memories are made and that experiences blossom into this harmonious union that we want them to. world card. Yeah, you have a lot of opportunities open to you, but in a way, you're almost not letting yourself experience it. I mean, like this gentleman here, he's got all of these cups behind him, but he's focused outwards. He's focused in that direction, focused out towards these mountains. When these cups are right here on this plane in front of him, he doesn't have to climb these mountains to get what he wants. He just needs to turn around and see that they are here. The Ace of Pentacles, that's a new opportunity given to you. It's like the hand of God, the hand of the universe giving you a message. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So again, another message being given to you. And the Eight of Wands, this is about speed. So I feel like when you are able to turn around and see what is in front of you, when you are able to embrace these opportunities to, to receive the message, receive the messenger, then you will be able to move forward in your life and in these situations that you want to. You'll be getting out of this this energy where you just feel kind of trapped and alone. You need to listen for the messenger and watch for the messenger. This might come in the um, this this might come as spirit guides, animal spirit guides. This might come through your dreams. But the universe is trying to tell you something. This might come through synchronicities as well. The universe is trying to tell you something and you have to be open to these possibilities. You have to be open to the messenger. When you're closed off and not wanting to see the world around you, then you will not receive these messages. So I think this month, it's really, is, it's really about working on your confidence and working on um, how you perceive yourself. Celebrating who you are, okay? <laughs> Queen of Wands celebrating who you are. She is enthusiastic. She is determined. And she understands that what she has is because she has worked hard for it. What she has has not just been given to her. She has grown this sunflower from seed. She has nurtured it into life. And if we just sit here and you know you don't even plant your seeds then you will not get anywhere sometimes it is a juggling act sometimes it is hard but if we can go back to square one and understand what it is that we need to know to move forward to help sow these seeds to help um to help our flowers blossom then these situations will become clearer to us The Ace of Wands. Again, another Ace. This is all about new beginnings. A door is opening for you, Pisces. A door will be opening this December, but do not miss the messenger. If you are stuck with your back turned to the opportunities, or if you are too afraid to listen to these opportunities, they are going to go by. 
these opportunities are going to come in and out of your life with with quite quite a bit of speed so you need to be willing to take them when they come into your life this could be a person coming into your life if you're looking for a new relationship to begin um I don't want you to hesitate. You don't need to let the fear of the what ifs overcome you. If you see someone that, you know, kind of tickles your fancy or pulls on your heartstrings like the moment you see them, but you give into fear and can't even go introduce yourself, then that person is going to leave your life as quickly as they came. We need to be able to embrace these messages and trust ourselves. Understand that Yes, we are on a journey and yes, it is it is scary and it is um, it is hard to get out of our comfort zone. Being uncomfortable is hard, but it is when we are out of our comfort zone that this growth is going to happen. There is abundance abound. It is coming, but we need to be able to receive the message. But at the same time, we need to focus on what it is that we want. We can't focus on everything because then we will be clouded. If we focus on everything that we could possibly ever imagine, then we won't receive the messengers because it will be way too crowded. Okay? If this is the cup that we want, but we have eight other options then it's really hard to discern this cup, one cup from the next from the next. So focus on what it is that you want. Focus on what it is your vision is, your end goal, be it a relationship, a partnership, a new business opportunity, financial abundance. Focus on what it is you want and focus on the details that will make it yours. If you're manifesting a new house, what color are you going to paint the, your bedroom? What, uh, what color drapes, what kind of drapes are you going to hang in the living room? Where will you place your dining room table? Focus on these little details that will make it yours so that when these messengers appear, you know that it's yours. Let's get one more card for Pisces. The Ace of Cups, or the Page of Cups, sorry. Yeah, so another page card. This is new beginning. This is newfound confidence. And I'm feeling like confidence is key for you this month, Pisces. You're going to have a lot of opportunities come up for you. And you have to have the confidence to be able to go after it. In a way, um, these pages, they're young. They're enthusiastic. In a way, they're naive. They're not letting the fear of the what ifs stop them from going after their dreams. You need to not let this fear that we started with here prevent you from reaching your dreams. The messages, the messages, the messengers are coming and we want it to be clear. So you need to be clear on what it is that you want because things are going to start to move quickly this month. And I want you to be able to receive what it is that is meant for you to receive. Change. Yeah. Change is coming and it's going to be a change that is really going to, on one hand, get you out of your comfort zone. It's going to make you feel uncomfortable, but at the same time, you're going to be excited by it. You are going to know that this is the change that you need. It's kind of like starting a New Year's resolution early. When this happens, you know that you're going to go for it and it's going to be what, but what you want. Okay, spiritual career. And we also pulled spirituality. So this could be you. Um, starting on a new spiritual journey, embracing who you are, and, and um, maybe even starting to, instead of just watch for the messengers, but actually start to communicate with the messengers. Um, you guys might be tapping into 
your psychic abilities, your abilities to manifest, your abilities to create. You're starting to believe in your own personal powers around your spirituality. Okay? I'm really getting strong psychic vibes, especially like this purple. This is, and we've got purple here too. This is the color of the crown chakra. This is you opening up your third eye to, to not only the possibilities of this physical realm, but also other realms as well. Okay. This is very interesting. I'm feeling like you guys are going to start to make a change from being really burdened by this physical world and become and embrace your spiritual world, realizing that there is more than what meets the eye. It's exciting, Pisces. I'm excited to see where you guys go this month, literally and, <laughs> and spiritually. <laughs> um, you may be going places through meditation, through astral travel, through um, communicating with realms beyond our own. Very interesting. So that is your message, Pisces, for the month of December. If you want your January reading to go up first, you need to hit the like button. The zodiac sign who gets the most likes on these December videos will have their January video go up first. So hit that like button, share with all the Pisces you know, so your reading goes up first next month. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day.